Hello, hello. Hello, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hello. hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. I hope that you uh, rested yesterday. Okay, very good. I'm sorry, guys. I was having problems with Zoom. <clears throat> I don't know what happened, but thanks God I'm here. Okay. ¿Cuántos estaban viendo la inauguración de los juegos? José, muy bonito el show. Eh, bueno, tenemos que ir a verlo después de clase. Muy bonito el show, la verdad. Creo que se han organizado bastante bien. Y qué bueno que están dejando nuestro país bien parado. Que pues seamos reconocidos por, por algo. Hi, Miss. Good night. Hi, good night. How was your day yesterday, guys? How was your day yesterday? Was it good? I rested. Thanks, God. It rained. It rained a lot. It rained a lot. That was good. Todo bien con la lluvia de ayer, chicos. No tuvieron ningún problema. No, todo bien. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did you rest yesterday? ¿Cómo la pasaron? ¿Descansaron? Yo espero que sí. Que hemos descansado. Bueno, antes de comenzar, chicos, eh, si tiene algún problema en enviarme la tarea, me la pueden enviar por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ahí me la pueden enviar también. Eh, voy a tratar de ver qué fue lo que pasó, porque si, yo creo que hay algunas personas que lo lograron enviar así y hay otras que les pide el correo. No sé por qué les está pidiendo correo, pero... Si tiene algún problema, me lo puede mandar por WhatsApp y ahí voy a ir yo revisando, ¿ok? Y pues el otro viernes sí vamos con la segunda tarea. Ok, very good. We're going to wait. Oh, we're 25, we're missing one. Very good. So we're going to wait just one, one moment um, and then we're going to start, ¿ok? So how are you guys? Everything good? Everything good. Everything good. Very good. Excellent. Are you ready to learn more? I hope yes. Hello, teacher. Ya enciendo la cámara. Solo termino de llegar a mi casita porque hoy sí sale un poquito noche del trabajo. Oye. Oh, yeah. Hi, Kelly. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Very good. Okay. Um, how many of you already finished the homework? Raise your hand, please. <clears throat> it was easy, right? Very easy. Very easy. Very easy. Okay. Um, next week, we're going to have unit number two. Ahora terminamos la unidad uno, que era... Verbo to be, las eh, jobs and occupations y el tema que vamos a ver ahora. Luego, eh, ya el, 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 el lunes, perdón, vamos con la unidad 2. ¿Ok? Que en ese caso sería semana 2. Va súper rápido para el tiempo. Ya cuando menos vengamos a sentir, vamos a estar ya en, en el siguiente módulo. Yeah, very, very, very fast. 
Okay, very good. So we're going to start. Um, please remember that you need to have your camera on because I need to see you. Remember that you need to participate as well. That also that is evaluated, okay? Necesito que participemos, por favor, porque eso es evaluado. Eh, y si usted pues no entiende o algo así, no se preocupe. Solo pues hágamelo saber que nosotros con mucho gusto que estamos para poderle apoyar. Ok. Any question before we start? No, everything good? Ok, everything excellent. Good. So let's start with the topic. Ok. Very good. Uh, please let me know if you see my presentation. Yes? Perfect. Yes. Okay. Guys, what are the plans that you have for weekend? Do you work or do you rest? I will work. Oh, you will work until noon, midday or the whole day. Middle. Midday. O sea, sale yes. a las 12. Correct. Ah, nice. I think that that is nice because on the afternoon you can rest. Who else? Yes. Are you going to rest? Are you going to work? Who else, guys? Yes. Giovanni? Yes, is the the journal tomorrow is today. Um, are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. The whole day. The whole day, yes. Oh, okay. And Sunday you rest. You don't go to work. Yes. Sunday, yes. Yes. ¿Qué día yes. descansa? Mm, my Friday is Wednesday. Wednesday, only one. Wednesday, yes. Only one day. Yes. Wow. That's very tiring. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Giovanni. You need to, yeah, you need to take advantage of Wednesday. Wow, only one day. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is our class number four because we uh, didn't have classes yesterday, right? Because it was a um, teacher's day. Okay, so we're going to start. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions about this. So, for example, Juan, do you remember your first pet? Yes, I yes. remember. Can you tell us more? Yes. Mm -hmm. I... Tell us more. Was it a dog? A cat? A total? My first pet is a rabbit. Your first pet was is a rabbit. What is the name of your pet? Mm, the name is Roger. Pollo? <laughs> no, no. Roger. 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 Oh. Roger. <laughs> okay, no pollo, no pollo. Okay, Roger. <clears throat> okay, very good. Thank you, Giovanni. What about Freddy? Do you have a pet? Or yes. do you remember about your first pet? Yes, I remember. My first pet is dog. It was it, a dog. It is, it is the name Pantro. What was the name? Pantro. Paltro. Uh, Pantro. Paltro. The Thundercat. 
Yes. Oh, Thundercats. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was a dog. Your first pet was a dog, right? Sí. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's see, Jose Simeon. Yes, my, my first pet uh, is a dog. And the name is Flash. 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 Your dog name is Flash. Wow, that's a good name. Very good. Let's see um, who else, who else who's going to participate. Let's see, Diana. Diana Alvarado and then Diana Recinos. Yeah. Uh -huh, Diana, do you remember your first pet? The first pet uh, in a dog. A it was a dog. Yes. What was the name of the dog? Um, his name is uh, Stitch. A Stitch. Yes. Like Lilo and Stitch. Yes. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Very good. Very good. So it was a dog named Stitch. Very good. What yes. about Diana Resinos? Um, Your my first my pet. Yeah, my first pet uh, was a cat. A cat? Yeah. What was the name of, of the cat? Minina. <laughs> Minina. Oh, yeah. that's a cute name. Minina. <laughs> Very good. Adriana, do you remember your first toy? Uh, yes. Yes, remember. What um, was it? Uh, my dog, Panchito. Oh, my... okay. So you have a first pet. And do you remember it... your first toy? Toy. Ah, Your toy. toy. Um, yes. Um, fue... what was it? It was a doll. Um, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, uh, ¿cómo se dice bicicleta? A bicycle. Bicicle. Ajá, triciclo, bicicleta. Ah. A bicycle. Wow. A bicycle. Mm -hmm. It was a bicycle. Yes, yes, a bicycle. That's My nice. Fear. That's mm -hmm. nice, excellent. What about Paola? Do you remember what was your first toy? Paola? Yes, I do. What was your first toy? Do you remember? My toy was of kitchen. Your toy was a? Uh, Kitchen. No sé cómo decir cómo. Oh, ¿cómo like a kitchen. A kitchen. In which you cook. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Excellent. Ever, do you remember your first job or maybe it's the one that you have? Do you remember your first job? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, my first job is a. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Carga, cargador de, de asistente de, de carga, ¿cómo se puede decir? Load assistant. Load, load assistant. carga, load. load. Load assistant. Yeah. That was your first job. Yes, that's my first job. Okay, very good, Evan. What about Ana Mercedes Argueta? Do you remember what was your first job? Your very first job. Yo, uh, yes, I remember. What was it? Uh, it's informal. Uh, how do you say ventas? Sales. 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 Okay, oh. so your first job was sales. My first okay. job is sales. Sales. What about Kelly? What was, or do you remember your first job? Your first job? 
Um, my first job is the um, winter. Your first job was? Yes. Which one, sorry? Can you repeat? Huh? Can you repeat? Uh, winter. My first job oh. is a uh, winter. Waitress. Winter. Waitress. A uh, uh, waitress. Yes. In which restaurant? Yes, and the Pizza Hut. Oh, really? Yes. That was nice. So you were a waitress in the Pizza Hut. Wow. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Very good. What about Rene? Thank you. What about Rene? What was your first job? Uh, my first job was a kitchen assistant. What is it? Kitchen assistant. Are you a chef? Are you a chef? No. No, you're not a chef. You were assistant. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, very good, very good. What about Ana Liliana Escobar? Do you remember your first job? Yes. Um, my first job, my job, uh, as an administrative assistant. Oh, that was your first job? Yes. An assistant, administrative assistant. Okay, very good, excellent, perfect. Okay, guys, so today we're going to learn about possessive, possessive. What is possessive? Something that I have, right? So we're going to talk about possessive adjectives and nouns, okay? Possessive adjectives. We're going to learn about possessive adjectives and nouns, and we're going to see what is the difference. So let's see this example. Um, Ever, can you read the first sentence, please? The first sentence. My house is pink. My house is pink. Okay, very good. So what is, guys, in this sentence, what is the structure that you see there? What is the structure? The free says subject. Mm. The first okay, is the first is subject. In this case, adjective. it would be my house. But when I'm talking about possessive, what is the first word that you see there? What is my? Uh, possessive adjectives. Possessive adjective, okay. Plus the noun, that is house, plus the verb. What is is? What type of verb is is, guys? B. B. The verb be, correct. In this case, it can be verb be or any other verb. And then the complement. So in this case, I can say, guys, my cell phone. My cell phone. It's not Kelly's. No, Kelly's no. My cell phone. Okay. I can say my mouse. My. No, Giovanni's. No, no, no. Mine. My mouth. Okay? I can say my stapler. Right? My stapler. I can say my not. Okay? So when you use my, is that you're using possessive adjective. And what is Anna Lilian? What is the possessive adjective? What is that referring to? Um, 
On the second. My. What is oh. that? Mm -hmm. Person. A possessive adjective, right? My is a possessive adjective. So when you see here, Juan Jose, can you read the second sentence, please? Here. Juan Jose, are you there? Oh, yeah, Hola. he's there. Can you read, please, the sentence? Here. Here. Choose. I'll Choose. Be. I'll be. Her shoes are big. Thank you, Juan Jose. Very good. Her shoes are big. Very good. So let's see, Kelly. What is her? A possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Why are we using her? Ah, because we're talking about she. Okay. So um, the possessive adjectives depends on the pronoun and we're going to see it, okay? So in this case, we have her, shoes, the verb be, in this case, that is are, and we have the complement, okay? Any question? No. No. No, sure. okay. I have a question. Tell me. Mm, for the he, what is possessive adjective? I'm sorry. Her is para she. It's for she. Right. Uh, for he? For he. His. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's see here. Oops. So here, just. <coughs> Sorry, just give me, okay, there you go. So you need to see this. For I, the possessive adjective is my, right? I'm talking about I, my, you, your, your glasses got it, your, um, your cell phone, Diana, for example. I'm saying your, not mine, your. And as you were asking for he, we use his, his. For she, her, for it, its, for we, our, and for they, their. Okay, so let's see. We're going to have some sentences, okay? Think of one sentence. I will give you 30 seconds. Mm, yeah, 30 seconds. I will give you 30 seconds and you're going to give me one sentence for each. Okay? Yes? Yes. Yes? Okay, so think of a sentence. Think of a sentence and you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me. Ada Mercedes will help me with the first one. Ada Mercedes, Ada Mercedes is going to help me with the first one. Can you give me one sentence using my? My cat is blue. My cat is blue. Oh my God, is your cat blue? <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> but anyways. Okay, very good, Ada. My cat is blue. I will write here the possessive adjective. My cat is blue. Very good. Possessive me on. Can you please give me another sentence? But in this case, using your. Your, your uh, house, your computer, it can be any. Uh -huh. 
Okay, Jose Simon, you're going to help me with next one. Okay, Paola, help me please. Your eyes are brown. Your eyes are brown. Very good. Your eyes are brown. Excellent, Paola. Adriana, can you help me? <clears throat> and then Ana Teresa. Yes. With his. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> we're talking about he, but he's possessive. Yes. Okay. His his book uh read. His book? What is missing? Uh -huh, let's see the structure. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is. Let's see the structure. Let's see, okay. hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my God, yeah. Let's see the structure here. We have possessive, possessive noun, and now there be. Ah, ah, exactly. So let's see, let's see. Okay, he book is, no. Excellent. Is a red. Red, okay. It can be red. His book is big. Red. His book is small. His book is um, clean. Anything, right? Excellent, Adriana. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Let's see Ana Teresa and then Fernando. Ana Teresa, tell me. Her. Oh my God. Here. Opening there. Here. Yes. Our, our pencil. Her pencil. Uh huh. Her pencil are black. Okay. Her pencils. In this case, we're going to talk about plural. Are, I'm sorry, black, you said, right? Very good. Thank you. Fernando, it. Is it's hold on. oh my god okay hold on hold on hold on um yeah there you are go. its books are beautiful mm, in this case it we can use it for an animal a place or an object okay it can be an object for example or it can be um, an animal. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cats are beautiful. Mm, in this case, you need to talk about the cat. For example, it can say it's cat. Its color is uh, brown. For example. Okay, in this case, you're talking about, it can be a dog or it can be a cat. Okay, this is used for an animal. Or it can be um, used for naming an object. For example, this. Its color is blue. Blue. Right? El color de... La engrapadora, en este caso sería en español, <coughs> es azul, ¿verdad? Entonces, right. sí es para eh, indicar posesión, pero de un, eh, una cosa, un animal, un lugar, ¿ok? Very good. So, who was next? Did I say who? No, I think no. Ana Lilia. Ana Lilia. This is easy. Our, our, our uh -huh. friend. I'm sorry. Our friend. Uh huh. Our friend. Uh huh. Uh, our student. 
our friends are students. students. Sí. Our friends are students. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Let's see. Lisette Dia. Help me with the last one. In this okay. case, Lisette, there is, we're talking about they. Okay. Cuando hablamos posesión de ellos. Uh -huh. Tú de ellos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What can be? The, they play for basketball. I'm sorry. They play for basketball. They're a racer. Basketball. Oh, Baseball. Oh no. I'm sorry. The uh -huh. where? The where? Basketball. They're vegetables. Uh huh. Okay. Basketball. They're vegetables. Uh huh. And basketball. Okay. They're vegetables. Yes. Yes. They play basketball. No. I'm sorry. Do you? Uh, they. No quiero ver. Sí, o ellos juegan básquetbol, pero no sé. They eh, play store, play store, eh, basketball. No. No. Ok. No. Let's go okay. back. Let's go back. Ok. Let's go back. Nice try. Let's go back. Ok. So. In this case. Oh my God. I need to. <laughs> I, I'm not going to erase this. Ok. But. Um, let me write here. Here, for example, if you want to say, <clears throat> uh, do you have neighbors? Do you yes. have neighbors? Tiene vecinos? Yes. 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 Lisette? Yes. Lisette Diaz, do you have neighbors? Mm. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo es la casa de sus vecinos? Es grande, pequeña. Roja, azul, verde. ¿Cómo es la casa? Ah, ok. Entonces, sería play, a house. Yeah. Ok. Blue. Their house. Blue. Their house is blue. Ok. Their house. Is blue. Their house. The age is like that because the age wants vacation. Ok. Their house is blue, right? Ok. En este caso, Lisette, estamos hablando, estamos usando el adjetivo posesivo que está indicando posesión, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso estamos hablando de algo que les pertenece a ellos, ¿verdad? El adjetivo posesivo de ellos es there. Entonces, aquí estaríamos hablando la casa de ellos, ¿verdad? En este caso de los vecinos es azul. ¿Verdad? Entonces estamos, los adjetivos eh, posesivos, como dice el nombre, es posesión, ¿verdad? Lo que yo tengo, lo que Ana tiene, lo que Freddy tiene, lo que mi mascota tiene, lo que nosotros tenemos, lo que ellos tienen, ¿verdad? Ok, so let's go back. There you go. So what will be here, uh, Lisette? What will be here? Por ejemplo, they eh, the car eh, white, el carro de ellos blanco. Uh -huh. Ok, their car is white. Perfect. Their car is white. Excellent. Very good. Do you have any question? So please keep in mind, ok? My, your, his, her, it's our, their. Ok, their. Very good. Any question? We're going to practice. No questions? Let's see who's writing in the chat. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, um, yeah, I'm already. Yeah, they're already there. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, Freddy, they are they are in. Thank you. Okay. So any question? You need no. to uh, focus on this. Okay. This is important. Okay. Very good. So let's mm -hmm. move. Let me just erase this. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Very good. So in this Please case, I need you to think Beautiful. what can be the answer of this. So we have here the options, okay? Here we have the options. The possessive adjective, right? It can be my, your, our, their, her, it's his, okay? So I need your help. I need your help to feel this, okay? So Ana Teresa, can you help me with the first one? They have a car. This is, uh-huh, it says, they have a car. This is, car. They. They're, correct. Oops. Correct. Very good. Now, let's see Anna Lillian and then Melvin. Anna Lillian, the second one. The cat has a fish. This is, huh? Uh, it's, 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 very good. Then we have, who was next? Melvin, Ali has many books. These are, is all. Ali, Ali has many books. These are? These mm. are. Lo siento que no podía entrar hasta ahorita. Acabo de entrar ahorita porque no podía entrar. No me, no me daba permiso. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok, so, yeah, listen. Jocelyn, I think Ali, do you think Ali is a boy or is a girl? Ali. A girl. Okay. So if it is a girl, Jocelyn, Ali has many books. Many books. These are books. Uh -huh. What can be? Hairs. Hairs. Uh, hair books. Hairs. In the in that case, if Ali is a girl, it can be hairs. But in this case, if for example we have Evan, it will be his, right? Very good. We have a dog. This is it. Uh -huh. This is it. Dog. We have, we, we have a dog. Our. This is oh. our, our, very good. This is our dog, perfect. Karen Garcia, the dog has a tail. That is? That is a... We're talking about a dog. Your <clears throat> mine. Oh. I don't have a tail. <laughs> the dog has a tail. That's it. Oh. Mine. Your. You have a tail? No. Your. What is the what is the the adjective that goes? With the dog. Uh, your. Yours is tuyo. Uh, his. His es cuando hablamos de él. His. Giovanni, for example. His. But when we talk about let's go, let's go to the chart. 
Okay, veamos, veamos. Aha, so what is, Karen, the correct one? What do you think is the correct one? We're talking about an animal. So what do you think is the possessive adjective that is the correct one? Mm, it's right. Perfect. Excellent, Karen. It, right? It. Why? Because we're talking about the dog, an animal. I cannot say your because I'm not talking about you. You cannot say my because I'm not talking about I, right? Very good, Giovanni. Thank you, Karen. The monster has wings. Uh -huh. The monster has wings. The monster has wings. Those are his wings. Exactly. His wings, right? The monster, wing fairy that is a boy. You have a Batman picture. This is. You have a Batman picture ever. What can be the correct answer? You have a Batman picture. This is a Batman picture. Yes, tell me. You have a Batman picture. This is Batman picture. You're your Batman. Very good, Evan. Okay, the dogs have a bag of bones. The dogs. Here you need to be careful. In este caso estamos hablando de varios perritos. Entonces no puede ser it, ¿verdad? Porque it solo es para singular. Tenemos que buscar algo que hable de plural. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es el pronombre personal que podemos sustituir en vez de dogs? Fabiola. There. There. Very good. There. Okay, these are their bonds. Perfect. Fabiola. I have a teddy bear. This is teddy bear. What can be the correct one? This is my teddy bear. Right. My, my teddy bear. Very good, Fabi. Excellent. Oops. The last one will be for Carla Jocelyn. The cat has a blanket. This. What can be the correct one? Yes. I'm sorry? His? His. Uh -huh. okay. okay, it can be his or it can be its. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. You can use his in case that you know that the cat is uh, a male. Otherwise, you can use just its. Okay? Okay, very good. Perfect. Please be careful, guys. You need to remember the structure as well. Okay, very good. Any question? Yes, no? Okay. I have a question. Oh, yeah, tell me. Yes, my question is, um, for example, the word mine. When we mine. use mine. Can you spell it? M. I. M. E. M -E. Mine. Right. It's possessive. But let me tell you the difference. Okay. I can okay. say the difference is in the structure. Okay. For example, I can say, um, my mouse can say, um, I will write with the text, sorry. <laughs> okay, so 
My mouse is pink. Okay? My mouse is pink. Where is the possessive um, adjective? My. But where is it? At the beginning or at the end? ¿Dónde está el, el adjetivo posesivo en este caso? Beginning. At the beginning, right? Okay, right. but if I say the mouse that is pink, oops, is mine. mine. Ah, that is a possessive, possessive. pronoun but it's at the end, okay? Yo estoy diciendo lo mismo, pero que cambia la forma en que lo digo, ¿verdad? En este caso, el adjetivo eh, posesivo va al principio. Y la estructura es que tengo que usar en la mayoría de veces el, el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Aquí también, pero en la segunda, el eh, pronombre posesivo, en este caso es mine, va al final. Usted no puede decir my mouse. No, ¿verdad? Y otra de las características es que con el adjetivo posesivo, justo después del adjetivo, usted tiene que poner el nombre, ya sea una persona, una cosa, un animal. Pero cuando usa el, el pronombre posesivo, Primero pone el nombre y al final pone el, el, el posesivo. ¿Ok? It's a little okay. bit different. It's not, no, it's not, I mean, it's not so different. They have their similarities, but they have some differences that are small. ¿Ok? Because, for example, they also have yours. In this case, it's yours, theirs, hairs. His is the same. Um, it is the same. Ours, you add an S. It's, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. But basically, is uh, that this is at the end and this is at the, in, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's move then. You have no questions. Let's move just one second. Ching, 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 ching. Yes. Okay, we're going to do this, guys. We're going to do this. I'm going to stop sharing just for one moment. Okay. And we're going to do this together. Okay. Remember that you need to participate. I'm checking. I'm checking that you participate or you don't. Okay, very good. So, are you ready? Let me share. Let me share here. Chan, 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 chan. Yeah, I'm sharing. Okay, this is an activity that we're going to do together, okay? Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So, let's see. This is her dress. Her dress. Her dress. I'm talking about the dress of the girl. The girl is she. So this is her dress. Very good. Now, let's see. This is. His. 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 Why we are using his and not her. Why? It's a uh, place. L. Because it, we're talking about he, because right? We're talking about Very him. good. So this, this is his hat. Very good. That is. Where? My. 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 Swear. My. My. We're talking about. My. I. Right. Very My. good. Very good. Let's see. This is jacket. His jacket. His jacket. His jacket. Very good. His. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Next. 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 Okay. That is 
your t-shirt your your, your your i'm talking your. about you right so your. that is your t-shirt very good excellent let's see let's see let's see, let's see. next 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 that is Hair, because we're talking Skirt. about a woman. Her skirt. Very good. Her skirt. This is my coat. My coat. My, my, my coat. My coat. Very my good. Coat. Excellent. That is. Your scarf. Oh, oh, oh. Or, why? Because I'm talking about you, right? Your, you. your, your scarf. scarf. Very good. Scarf. Oh my God. We have eight of eight. Yay. Okay. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay. So, right now, we're going to do an independent practice. What is the meaning of that? that you're going to do it individually okay and i'm going to um i'm going to click i'm going to put this link on the chat and you're going to click you're going to start you're going to do it and when you finish you're going to take a screenshot and you're going to send it in the chat so i can see your work Okay, very good. So okay. let me see here. Let me paste it in the chat, okay? So this is about possessive, 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 okay? Possessive um, adjectives, possessive adjectives. Okay, very good. And um, let's see, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, great. Do you see it? Please confirm it. Do you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. So click on the link. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Click on the link and start doing it. When you finish, uh, send me the screenshot. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to drink water. Get my one sec. Yeah. I need you guys to finish and finish and when you finish, take the screenshot. Okay. Okay. Okay, excellent, Jose Simeon. Very good. We have Jose Simeon, excellent. We have Karen, perfect. Fabi also, excellent. Perfect, perfect. We have Rene, very good. Excellent. We have Ever, perfect Ever, thank you. Excellent. Kelly, very good, I received yours, perfect. Very good. Excellent. Juan, we are working in the link, okay? Giovanni, very good, Giovanni. 
plant. Very good. Okay. Uh, the ones are working. One minute more. Uh, Juan, okay, Juan, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Ana Teresa, thank you. We have Freddy, very good. Uh -huh, I'm waiting for the others. I need to check. Okay. Oh, by the way, remember that the homework is going to be until tomorrow midnight. Very good. Let's see. Adriana Hercules, perfect. Ana. Paola, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Aha, uh -huh. who's missing? Okay, one minute. Okay, Ada. Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we have uh, Lisette. Very good, Lisette. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay, okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Um, if you are not finished, don't worry. We're going to um, we're going to have like some seconds remaining. Okay, very good. We're going to do an oral practice. Okay, an oral practice, guys. I need you to choose um, one object. Choose one object that you have. If you don't have an object near, I need you to get one object. It can be your cell phone. It can be um, a, a glass of water. It can be a, a book. It can be a pencil, a notebook. Any, get one object, please. One object. Do you have it? My phone. Yeah, okay. Anna Lilian, her phone, very good. Do you have it? Yes. It can be your cat, your dog, your fish, your turtle, a dinosaur. It can be any, anything. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, excellent. Jocelyn? Your object, do you have it? Okay, very good. Okay, a comb, one, that is a comb. Very good, very good. Let's see, yes, do you have it? Perfect. Let's see here, do you have it? Yes, yes. So, okay, so listen, what we're going to do, okay? You're going to make a sentence using your object. For example, my charger, my charger, okay? Yes? Yes, okay. So uh, you're going to say your object, but then I'm going to choose another person to say the same sentence, but using the other pronoun. For example, um, if Jocelyn says, my cell phone, okay? And I say, Freddy, uh, can you repeat the sentence, but change the possessive adjective? So Freddy will say, her cell phone. Yes? No le toca. Yes? yes? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so um, I need you to get ready. Get ready, please, with the objects. And I'm going to choose. Chun, 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 chun. Okay, Evan. Your sentence and show the objects.
Yes, Eva. Sorry, um, I cannot listen to you. I think you're having problems. Okay, meanwhile, he solves the problem. Diana Brendali, your turn. Hello. Hi, your object and your sentence, please. Okay, um, my sunglasses. My sunglasses are? Are my sunglasses? Glasses are uh, brown. My sunglasses are brown. Yes. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, yes. Kelly, yes. can you say the same sentence but using a different, I mean, uh, regarding she? What can be the possessive adjective when we talk about? Diana, she said, my sunglasses are uh, brown, she said. So how can you change that, saying the same, but talking about Diana? Um, the other... Uh... Yeah, talking about, about she, right? Talking about she, Diana. I'm sorry, Kelly. Uh, your 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 uh, mute microphone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, her uh, her hair is color a uh, rose. Oh, the same, the same. She said, my sunglasses are brown. Aha, uh -huh. so what will be the possessive? You say it. Hair. Hair. Um, the sunglasses, are brown. sunglasses. Sunglasses are, are brown. Are brown. Brown, perfect. Her sunglasses are brown. She said, my sunglasses are brown, but since we're talking about Diana, we say her sunglasses are brown. Perfect. Kelly, can you show us your uh, object, please? Um, my um, my pencil is um, color blue. My pencil is color blue. Very good. Let's see, Giovanni, can you repeat what she said, but change the possessive adjective? Because you're not going to say, my pencil is blue, right? Because that is her sentence. Uh -huh. What can be? She said, my pencil is color blue. Huh? If we talk about Kelly, What's the letter? Mm, your, my, your, we're talking my, about Kelly. She. Uh, oh, okay. Her. Her. Her is. Her pencil is blue. It's color blue. Perfect. It's color blue. Very good. Thank you. Giovanni, uh, can you tell us your. Can you tell us the sentence and the object that you chose? Mm, the headphones? The headphones? The headphones, my headphones is color white. My headphones are color are white. Color are white. color white. Okay, very good. Adriana. So he said, my headphones are color white. But how can we change the pronoun or the possessive adjective when we talk about he? 
um, uh, his his uh, headphones. Has for head, repeat. Has for headphones. Headphones. Uh, headphones. Headphone is white. R R because they are R two. R R uh huh. R R R white. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. His headphones are white. Are perfect. White. Perfect. Ana Mercedes and Fabi and let's see. Um, Ana Mercedes, Fabi and Jocelyn. You're going to give us the U3, U3, right? U3, U3. You're going to uh, tell us the objects and the sentence. Okay, Ana Mercedes, Fabiola and Jocelyn. Aha, Ana Mercedes, you start. Okay. My bottle of water is big. My bottle of water is big. Big. Okay. So, Fabi, let's imagine that you have a bottle of water as well. Let's imagine, Fabi, that you have a bottle of water. Okay. Ah, okay. So, you said, my bottle of water is big. Okay. Okay. The same. The same, yes. Okay. My bottle of water is big. Perfect. Now, Jocelyn, you imagine that you have a bottle of water and that is big as well. Yes? Can you uh, repeat? I, uh, I say the same. Yes, the same. Okay. My bottle of water is big. Okay. So, Anna has a bottle of water that is big. Fabiola and Jocelyn, they also have a bottle of water. So let's see, Freddy. We're talking about three people. Anna, Fabi, and Jocelyn. How could we say the same sentence, but changing the possessive adjectives? What can be? Your microphone? We cannot listen. This is their uh, bottle of water big. Their bottle of water is or are big. Okay, their bottle of water are big. Very good. Why? Because we're talking about three people. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay. Let's see, Jocelyn, we're going to finish the activity with you. What is your object? Me? I'm sorry, Jocelyn Aragon, sorry. Thank you. Jocelyn Aragon, we have two Dianas, two Jocelyns. Oh no, three Jocelyn. <laughs> Jocelyn, what is your object? Um, my ear, ear pop. My ear pops? Is color black. My ear pops are? Color black. Excellent. Let's see. Ana Teresa, can you say the same sentence but changing the, uh, um, the possessive adjectives? She said, Jocelyn said, my ear pots are color black. Can we say the same sentence but changing the possessive adjective? Here, apple. It's color black. Okay, her ear pods are color black. Are, blue. are. why? Because are. we're talking about two, right? It's plural. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Very good. Guys, at the end, you're going to use two. Two objects. So, yes, get closer the two objects because we're going to do another activity as well okay any question until now any question so we already have okay the possessive adjectives right possessive adjectives very good now we're going to move to the other topic 
we're going to see what is the difference between possessive adjectives and the other topic that we're going to see. Okay, very good. So we have, I'm sorry, possessive nouns. Okay, so we have the possessive adjectives that we already have and the possessive nouns. What do you see in this sentence, guys? We have Pedro's house is near the school. Pedro's house is near the school. What do you see in this sentence, guys? Contraction about the subject and the verb. Perfect, Fabi. We have a, yeah. mm, we can say a contraction. What do you see, yeah. guys, in the contraction? We are talking about um, the house is of Pedro. The house of? Pedro. The house of Pedro. His house, right? His, His house. house. Excellent. Oh, Pedro's house. But when I want to write or say a possessive noun, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do you see here? Let me underline. Hold on, hold on. Let me underline. What do I need to do here? What is Pedro? The subject. subject. The subject. So what do I need to do with the subject? Uh -huh. I need to write an apostrophe, right? What is the name of this? Apostrophe. It's like a comma, right? But it's an apostrophe. Like in, in Spanish, we say apostrophe, right? So we need to use an apostrophe and an A. Okay? Pedro's house. O la casa de Pedro. Okay? Casa de Pedro. Usted puede decir his house. Okay? Or Pedro's house. Okay? So, for this, we need to have the subject, which is the noun, and an apostrophe is. Okay? Very good. And what happened to the rest? Is the complement. Okay? Very good. But these possessive nouns are two. Singular and plural. Okay, let's see the other. Um, oops, let's see the other the other example here. So we have in this case we have plural. Okay, it says your brothers. What is the difference that you see here in this sentence, guys? What is the difference that you see here? We are talking about plural. We are talking about two, plural. one person or many? We are talking about plural. Many. Many, right? In this case, we are talking about how many Pedros? One. Singular. One, one Pedro, right? Pedro's house, the house of Pedro, right? You can even say, you can even say his house or Pedro's house or the house of Pedro. You can use it, okay? The three forms are correct. So in this case, we're talking about one person. And in this case, we're talking about many. Mm -hmm. Your brother's toys. Are, um, I'm sorry, here I had a mistake. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Yeah, I changed it, sorry. There you go. 
Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, very good. So, sorry, my bad. Okay, so here we have. Uh huh. What it says, your brother's toys are messy or disorganized. Okay, so in this case, where do I put the apostrophe? Where? Where do I put the apostrophe or the comma up? Where? In the, in the final. Okay, after? After, after. the S. After. after. Okay. And what is this S talking? What is the S telling to me? Uh -huh. What is the S telling? That is plural. Okay, that this is plural, but we have many people here. So after the S, we put the apostrophe. Okay, let me see some other examples here. For example, we can say, can somebody tell me a sentence in singular using a possessive noun, please? One, singular. Any, it can be any, a single one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, she's uh, a, she's the um shoes um color red. Okay, um, we are talking about she who? Ana, Gaby, Petrona, who? Let's put Maria. Diana, okay. Diana, okay. Diana, 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 shoes. Color uh -huh. red. Our color red, okay? So in this case, we're talking about one or many people, guys. One, one, one right? One person, one baby. Okay, one person. What can be um, another example, but in plural? Armando is Metro Centro. I'm sorry. Armando's store is Metro Centro. In this case, we're talking about Armando. Armando's store is in Metro Centro. Very good. But we're talking about one person. Another can be. This. Uh, no, hold on, hold on. The teachers, teachers, uh, gifts are on the table. Okay. So, do you see the difference between? Do you see the difference between this and this? Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on, hold on. I put an S here. That is not. I will write it again. Okay. The teachers. The teachers' guests are on the table. For example. Okay. What is the difference that you see in in the sentence? In this case, we have sentence number one that we have Diana. Diana's shoes are color red and Armando's store is in Metro Centro. What is the difference with this uh, sentence one, two, and the sentence number three? What is the difference that you see there? In the sentence one, two, is in singular persons e, and the three, sentence three is in plural. 
In sentence one and two, we're talking about one person, Diana. We're talking about Armando, one person. But in this case, in number three, we're talking about many, many teachers, okay? So in this case, where do we put the apostrophe? After, after the S. In the After the S, yes, that is telling me that is plural, right? Plural, plural. Very good. In this case, I cannot say Diana's. Before. Diana's shoes, right? Because, I mean, I know that there are two Diana's, but yeah, this is just for one person. One Diana and one Armand. But in this case, this is more general. When we're talking about many people, okay? Yes? Any question? No. No question, teacher. Let's see some other, uh, let's make some practice. Okay, very good. So here we have more examples. In this case, we have the children's breakfast pancakes, okay? What is happening here, guys? Is this correct? No, no, no correct. No, no correct? No, no correct. The apostrophe uh -huh. is... The apostrophe. Mm-hmm. Well. But... After S. After e letter S. Okay, so... What is the correct form? Uh, children? Oh, I forgot that I need to write here, okay. sorry. Okay. What is the correct form? Children, children. or children? Punto extra, quien me diga? Oh, children. Children. Children or children? Children? Children. With children. S or without? Children. Is plural. Without. No S. Or yes, S. Yes. S. S. Okay. So the correct one, guys, the correct form is this one. This is not. So in this case, it's correct. El desayuno de los chicos. En este caso, el error está acá en el verbo to be. That children breakfast are pancakes. Because we are talking about plural. Si usted dice children's, y no, no se está refiriendo a um, el posesivo, de un nombre, entonces eh, sería incorrecto, ¿verdad? gramaticalmente hablando. Porque children es una excepción a la regla. En, cuando hablamos de nombres, de plurales y singulares, la mayoría solo se les agrega una S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, car, si yo lo quiero hacer singul, eh, plural, perdón, le agrego nada más la S. Pero hay unas excepciones a esa regla. Una de ellas es esta. Children. Si usted dice children's, para referirse a muchos niños, eh, está incorrecto, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, acuérdense, ahora oh, eh, aprendimos algo nuevo. You cannot say children with F. Children. So, the children's breakfast are pancakes. Now, in this case, Joe's car is a Mercedes Benz. Uh -huh. Is this plural or singular? Singular. Why singular. is it singular? Mm -hmm. Why is it singular, guys? Because it's a one person. One person, Joe. Okay, very good. In this case, we have the boy's toy is green. What is that? Is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural. 
singular, right? Okay, the boy's toy is green. The toy of the boy, right? <laughs> Eso sería singular. Pero si yo digo, the boy's toy is blah, 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 blah. What happened? What is the difference? What is the difference between the boys and the boys? I mean, if you say it, it's kind of, um, it's kind of the same. Okay, the boys toy is green or the boys toys are. What is the difference then? What do you the see there? The position Please. of the apostrophe. Teacher. The position of the apostrophe, correct. So you need to be careful. When you are talking about one, you use apostrophe S. But when you say plural, the S is first and then the apostrophe, okay? Let me write it, let me write it here so we can, we don't forget. The important is that you don't forget and you practice, okay? When we talk about singular, we have apostrophe, oops, S. This is for singular, right? Apostrophe and S. But what about plural? We have the S and then the apostrophe, okay? Any question? Mm. I have a question. Tell me. Um, cuando nos referimos a un niño en singular, eh, ¿cómo vamos a entender que estamos hablando de un niño o de muchos niños? Si tenemos una, una excepción en, en children. Yeah, in this case, uh, the words that are going to help you to know, is, for example, the verb be. This is going to change. Por ejemplo, acá hablamos de el juguete del niño. Y ese es verde, ¿verdad? El juguete del niño. Pero aquí, como estamos hablando de varios niños o varios chicos, entonces el verbo to be va a ser plural también, ¿verdad? El, todos los juguetes de todos los niños son verdes, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, mm -hmm. pero yes. digamos <ríe> eh, que sea como que tengamos un, un examen y que sea como una pregunta trampa, por ejemplo, como, como la que la, eh, el ejemplo que se puso ahí, que en realidad lo que estaba erróneo era el, el verbo vi y no que los niños estaban en, en singular mm -hmm. o plural. In this case, if it is uh, singular, is the child child for um, one one okay. yeah the child's uh breakfast is pancakes pancakes okay. are so young okay so the child's breakfast okay so first thing what you're going to see ah the apostrophe and s and teacher delmi said that if it is apostrophe and s is singular. Ah. Singular. Okay. Now I'm going to see the second thing. Para no caer en la trampa, primero yo verifico. ¿Qué va primero? Apóstrofe S o S apóstrofe. Mm, ah, es apóstrofe S. Ah, entonces es singular. La otra cosa que voy a verificar es el verbo to be. Es is. Ah, entonces es singular también. Ah, entonces voy a poner singular. Ok. Eso es lo que tienen, eso es una recomendación. Verifiquen la posición de la comita, el apóstrofe y la S. Si primero va la S y luego en este caso no aplica porque es, es diferente, es children. Pero en el segundo ejemplo que yo les puse aquí, verifique. Ah, ¿dónde va el apóstrofe y dónde va la S? Ah, primero va la S y después va el apóstrofe. Ah, entonces quiere decir que es plural, estamos hablando de muchos porque la S va primero y luego va el apóstrofe ok, y después vean el verbo to be si es are entonces ah, quiere decir que es más de dos es plural, ah, entonces ok, 
y toma nota para no caer en la trampa, porque si sí, en los exámenes hay varias trampas. Ok. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? No, okay. Very good. Let's no, move then. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, let me just erase this. Okay, let's make this practice again. Okay, we're going to do this together and then we're going to have some practice, okay? Felicito a los que están con la cámara encendida y unos que ya me la apagaron, que la Okay, guys, I need your help here. I need your help, okay? Good. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, excellent. I'm going to share again. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is about possessive nouns. We already finished possessive adjectives, but now we're going to see possessive nouns, okay? Very good. This says the teeth of the fox. How can we say that in possessive nouns? Mm -hmm. How? Acuérdese que lleva una apóstrofe y una S. Uh -huh. <laughs> who, who wants to try? Bati. Ajá, primero va el nombre y luego va un apóstrofe, una S y el complemento. ¿Cómo sería? The the of the fox. Ajá. The fox. The fox. The fox. The fox. The fox. Correct. The fox apostrophe is T. The fox apostrophe is T. Why? Singular, right? Very good. Excellent. That was the first one. Okay. So I'm going to choose the next one. Carla Jocelyn, help me with this. Fans, the teacher has. In this case, teachers. Um, it's uh, plural, right? So we're talking about many teachers. Uh huh. How can you say that in possessive nouns? Acuérdese que primero va el nombre de quien estamos hablando que posee y luego la cosa. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. So, can the teacher have? Sorry? The teacher. Yes? Teachers. Have been. Teachers. Are. Teachers. Are the pens. No. Um, um, solo tenemos que poner yes. eh, la persona, en este caso, S, apóstrofe. ¿Y qué es lo que tenemos? ¿Qué es lo que posee la persona? O las personas. The teachers. The teachers ese apóstrofe. Pen. 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 Ok. Teachers. Pen. Ok. Los lápices o lapiceros de teachers. Muy bien. Excelente. Let's see, Giovanni. Giovanni, Giovanni, Giovanni. Okay, aprons the cooks wear. Aprons are like mandiles or, um, how do you say this? Um, 
Delantal, I think. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aprons that the cooks wear. The cooks wear. Cooks. 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 Aprons. Aprons. Very good. Cooks. Apron. In this case, we have S apostrophe apron. Okay. Apron. Delantal del chef. chef. In English, books, chef, apostrophe, porque ya va la S, apostrophe, delantal. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Fabiola is going to help me with the next one. Just let me plug in my computer. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, Fabi, the chicks, the hens, hi. The chicks, the hens. What is, what is the chicks? Chicks is um, like chicken, but small. Small and chicken. the hens? <laughs> Hens is um, the mother of the chicken. Hens ah. is the animal that produces eggs. The chicks they have eggs. Mm -hmm. But we need the to put it in. Hens apostrophe chicken. Hens apostrophe the chicken. Chicks. Chicks. Okay. Chicks. Hens, chicks. Hens, yeah. chicks. The los hands, pollitos chicks. de la gallina, right? The last gallina. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, Jocelyn Aragón. <laughs> this case, we have flags of the countries. Countries. Indeed. Many countries, it's plural. Jocelyn Aragon, blacks of the countries. No, Jocelyn is not there. Let's see Juan. The countries. Countries. Flag. Flag. Sorry, can you repeat? The countries flag. The countries. Apostrophe. Countries flag. So we have countries, because it's plural, apostrophe flags. Very good, yes. thank you. Melvin, you're the next one. Let's see. Okay, jackets of the guests. Jackets of the guests. We can't get, get. Jackets, jackets of the guests. Um, the jacket of guests. <clears throat> uh -huh, but say it in a possessive noun. Guests, okay. jackets. Right, Melvin, excellent. Guests, okay, S apostrophe. Jackets. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see. Adriana. And then Ana Mercedes. Okay. Adriana and then Ana Mercedes. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Adri, Adri. The rabbit my friend has. Um... The rabbit friend. my friend has. Friend? Friend? Rabbit. No. Has. My friend. Okay. Apostrophe is yes, rabbit. Right? Uh, okay. My friend. Apostrophe is yes, rabbit. Because my friend is only one. My friend uh, is. My friends, rabbit. Right. Yeah. Remember that in this case, it, it will be apostrophe is and rabbit because it's one. Very good. Excellent. 
Ana Mercedes. And then Jocelyn Marcela will have this, the last one. Okay, Ana Mercedes, we have, oh my God. Oh, the names <laughs> of the people. People is many, many person. Uh -huh. People, apostrophe names. People, okay, name. people's name. name. People's name, very people. good, excellent. Now, Jocelyn, you have, I mean, the last one. Sir, we I have a question. Freddy? Sorry, eh, Jocelyn. Acabo de ver de que desapareció el D, el D, T, H, E, en la oración. Um, which one, sorry? En el, en el anterior. Peoples. Ah, dice Peoples, apóstrofe, Ney. Pero la oración decía, de, uh, llevaba T-H-E, desaparece. Ya no sería the people's apóstrofe names. Yeah, you can say the people, the people. In this qué? case, it's the same as children. Ok, usted tendría que agregar apóstrofe S, the people's uh, names. Porque es una excepción también a la regla, así como children. ¿Verdad? No, pero ¿por qué desaparece de persona, el de? Puede usar el de, de, de people's ah, no, names. No desaparece por obligación. No, 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 you can say people's names or the people's names. If you're using uh -huh. the or the, it's like more specific. But if you want to say it more general, you can say people's names. Okay, but if you want to say, um, the people's name uh, names of a, a grupo, no sé qué grupo somos. Digamos que somos grupo cinco. Of five are Jocelyn, Diana, Melvin. You're specifying one group. But if you want to say it more general, you can say, oh, people's name. Okay? But you can use the people's names to specify one group of people. Yes? Yes. One group, it's, it's specific. Okay, very good. And just a the shoes least owns. I have a question. Uh, what is the meaning owns? Owns, that she has. Has, she has. Uh, For example, Jocelyn, I own a cell phone because it's mine. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay, yes, I go ahead. List all the shoes. Sorry? But I uh, know, um, uh, ¿dónde va la apóstrofe? Okay, okay, listen, it says the shoes list on. Or the shoes of Liz. Ok. Aquí la palabra ons es los que ella posee o los que ella tiene. In this case, eh, this uh, word is just for you to know. Ok. So in this case is the shoes of Liz. How can you say that in a possessive noun? Yes. Um. And it's the same, uh, the word alms is the same uh, for cualquier parte, por decirlo así. Ajá, uh -huh, but this word is just telling you that she has shoes. Es, le está diciendo nada más que ella posee o que ella tiene unos zapatos, pero no tiene que, que incluirla en, en el eh, nombre posesivo, ¿verdad? Porque solo es los zapatos de Liz, como lo dijéramos entonces, los zapatos de Liz o los que ella tiene o posee o compró, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero ¿cómo lo diríamos usando un nombre posesivo? The shoes ah. of Liz. Ajá. Uh -huh. Using apostrophe. How? Liz shoes. Liz apostrophe yes. S shoes. 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 Very good, excellent. You need to be careful, okay? You need to be careful with some of these things. 
Okay, very good. Uh, let's move. Chun, 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 chun. Okay. Miss. Yes, tell me. Entonces, eh, the possessive nouns es solo cuando uh, existe el nombre de una persona. Básicamente, the... sí. Puede ser un nombre eh, propio o un nombre común. Por ejemplo, eh, puede decir Diana. Eh, quiero ver qué tiene por ahí. La camisa de Diana, ¿verdad? Okay. O otra forma puede decir la camisa de, de la chica, ¿verdad? Porque pues se puede usar el nombre propio o un nombre común. En este caso sería chica, ella, ¿verdad? Entonces... Puedo decir la camisa de Diana, Diana's eh, shirt, or the girl's shirt, que sería lo mismo. Puede ser un nombre propio o un nombre común, pero sí, eh, la, la característica es que lleva un apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Apóstrofe S si es singular, o eh, después de la S, el apóstrofe si es plural, ¿verdad? Es para eh, demostrar posesión de algo de una persona. ¿Ok? Yes. Thank you. Ok, ¿es it clear? If not, I can continue explaining. Yes? No. Ok, very good, very good. Let's move. We're going to have a... Um, Nice. This is another exercise. Oh, please, I need you to do this individually. Okay. I'm going to send it to the chat. Can you see it? Can you see it, guys? Click on the link that is there. Click on the link. As soon as you finish, send me the screenshot. Yes, do you see? Yes, okay. Uh, click on the link. Click on the link and then start making it. Okay, start making it. And when you finish, send me the screenshot, please. When you finish, send me okay. the screenshot. Send me the screenshot. Send me the screenshot when you finish. Need you to um, analyze. Okay. Analicemos bien ahí cada caso. When you finish, uh, take the screenshot to the results, okay? Be careful with Singular, plural, plural, two, three, four, many, okay? The toy belonging to my brother, just one brother, okay? Shoes belonging to my sister, okay? Be careful, be careful. Acuérdese de lo que vimos en clase. Vea si es plural. Vea las características. Si es singular, vea dónde va el apóstrofe. ¿Ok? Tómese su tiempo, analícelo. ¿Ok?
Thank you. Excellent. Let's see. Very, very, very. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No bad. Very good. Jose Simeon. Very good, Jose. Kelly. Okay, very good. Juan. Very good. Okay, as soon as you finish, please, I need you to send a screenshot. Ever, very good. You just got one incorrect. Very good. Excellent. Anna Lilian. Very good, Anna Lilian. Excellent. Anna Mercedes. Oh, Anna Mercedes still working. Very good. Very good. Oh my God, Paula got disconnected. Okay. Okay. Ada Mercedes also working. Very good. Let's see. Giovanni. Very good. Rene. He sent the screenshot. Ada. Very good. Glenn. Very good. Okay. One minute more, guys, because we need to move. We need to move. Okay, Diana Alvarado. Okay, just one incorrect. Carla Jocelyn says in the WhatsApp. Very good, no problem. Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> me equivoqué en varias. Oh my God. No, you need to, you can do it again. Yes, because. Oh my God, Jonathan. Okay, we have Carla, Fer. You need to check some, Fer, also. Juan, also you need to check. Chicos, los que tuvieron eh, varias malas, sí me gustaría que lo volvieran a intentar, porque acuérdense que entre más practicamos, más se nos va a ir quedando. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, si usted eh, sacó varias malas, sí, eh, mi recomendación es que lo pueda volver a hacer, ¿verdad? No tenga pena de que. Este, ya vamos a empezar a hacer otra cosa. No, hágalo, porque sí me interesa que lo haga con ciencia, ¿verdad? Que se acuerde de todo lo que explicamos, que lo ponga en práctica, porque eh, a veces se ve bien confuso, ¿verdad? La oración, como alguien decía por ahí, en los exámenes vienen trampas. Y si no, eh, pues no analizamos bien, no leemos bien, caemos en las trampas. Entonces, lo que yo no quiero es que usted caiga en la trampa, ¿verdad? Por eso es que analice bien, por favor. Y pues sí, le recomiendo que lo vuelva a hacer para que así. Ok, Paola. Yes, Paola, sure. I'm going to. There you go, Paola. Ok. Eh, sí, como les decía, Adriana. Very good. Okay. Yes, you have two, I think. Diana Resinos, very good. Okay, excellent. Um, Paola Rivas, I already sent it. Yes. Okay, Ana Teresa also. Okay, chicos, si usted eh, siente que salió quizás un poco bajo, en, en, no tuvo tantas buenas, Sí puede volver a hacerlo, pero sí, hagámoslo a conciencia, por favor, ¿ok? Ok, very good. Yes. Everybody finished? Ok, we're going to do it together, ¿ok? Let me, oops, let me share a screen here. 
Okay. We need to be careful, okay? We need to be careful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to share, okay? Um, veamos. Veamos, 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 okay? So we have possessive noun here. And the first one says, the toy belonging, belonging has, uh, means that he has, right? The toy belonging to my brother. <clears throat> We have apostrophe S, my brother's toy, or my brother's S and apostrophe toy. Okay, based on what we learned, this is singular, right? This is apostrophe S, singular, one, and this, in this case, can be plural. But something is missing here. Cuando estamos hablando de plural, aquí también tiene que haber una S. ¿Verdad? So what is the answer? A or B? Letter A. A. A, correct. The shoes belonging to my sister. My sister, one sister. Option B. Option B. My sister's shoes, right? Here we go. Let's see. The game belonging to my brothers. In this case, it's plural. Mm -hmm. Option A. A, right? This cannot be because in this case, it's single. So, B, very good, excellent. Now, the hat belonging to Chris. Como decía alguien por ahí, sí, ponemos primero el nombre y luego la cosa, ¿verdad? El objeto, ¿qué es lo que esa persona tiene? Ajá. Chris, hat. Chris, hat. Or Chris, hat. In this case, I don't know why we have an S here. Okay. And here is Chris apostrophe hat. And here we have um, S because it's Chris apostrophe S. So what is the correct one? Letter A. A, right? No se confunda aquí porque hay doble S. Esta S pertenece al nombre, ¿verdad? Luego, lo que dice la regla, apóstrofe S. Very good. Now, we have... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The pillow belonging to Adam. The book belonging to Mrs. Jerk. Ocean B. Okay, very good, excellent. The skateboard belonging to Tyler. Letter B. B. B, Taylor skateboard. Very good, very good, excellent. Veo que sí lo han hecho bien. The books belonging to the kids. Plural. You can say option B. For children, right? Uh huh. Option B. B. Exactly. Okay. The medal belonging to Dolly. Option B. B. As you can see, we have the name and then the object, right? Name and then object. Very good. Then we have TikToks belonging to the girls. Option B. Uh huh. Letter B. No. Letter C. Oh, letter C, right? Girls TikTok. Very good. And last one. Belly button belonging to Nolan. Option A. Option A. A. Nolan's belly button. 
Very good. Okay, guys. Um, we have eleven of eleven. Yay! Okay, so guys, um, practice this. Okay, practice this. We didn't have time for finishing the last activity, but uh, yes, it's very important that you practice. Okay, adjectives, possessive adjectives, and then possessive nouns. Recuerden. Los adjetivos posesivos usamos my, his, her, our, their. Okay? My house, her house. Pero cuando hablamos de los nombres posesivos, hablamos de agregar, alguien decía por ahí una contracción, apóstrofe S, si es plural, perdón, si es singular, si es plural, una S y el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Y pues pongan en práctica lo que ya... Eh, Okay, aprendimos este día. Okay, so I'll see you um, Monday. Okay, take care. Have a nice weekend. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Night. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Rest. Enjoy. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. Have happy weekend. You too. Thank you, Fred. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Jose Simeon. Take care. Bye bye. Take care.